Hello, my dear NEET warriors. I hear you still are confused with regards to the syllabus as to what is deleted, what has been added. Some of you are confused. Should I read this from NCRT or not? Some of you are being still taught in the coaching certain topics which are deleted and you are unnecessarily getting confused. So I thought of putting an end to all of this so that you don't have to watch any video on the internet. So watch this video till the end. I have beautifully arranged all the topics, 11th, 12th, chapter wise, what was there in the old, what was there in the new, what has been deleted, what has been added, everything so that you are not confused, you will have clarity and you can better utilize your time for actual preparation and studying the theory and solving problems than just, you know, listening to rumors or getting confused. So my name is Captain Shreyas, your physics master teacher. I have been training kids for more than a decade and I'm extremely proud to say this that many of my kids are doing very, very well in the top notch institutes in the country. And this year is going to be no different. It's going to be your turn. My target is 700 plus so that even in the worst case, you score above 600 or 650. So make sure without wasting time, you smash the like button and show your love and also support the channel by subscribing because only when the channel grows, we'll be making new and more innovative content for all of you. So thank you so much for sparing the time to like as well as subscribe. So let's begin with what is deleted and what is added, starting off with class 11th. Now, the way I have arranged this is, I have kept the old syllabus as well as the new syllabus. The one in white is almost unchanged, right? The one in red has been deleted, okay? So in the NEED 2024, you will not see these topics, but the one in green has been added. Now, sometimes it might happen that the topic that you see might, uh, you know, seem like it was already there before, like least count was already there before. But the reason why I have mentioned this over here is because that word is additionally mentioned in the, you know, NTA or NMC official sites. So that's the reason why I have put that words in green so that you know, okay, they are actually going to ask that question or maybe there is a good chance a question on that might come. So make sure that do not get confused with regards to, you know, seeing those words over here. The one in red, definitely it is deleted. You don't have to waste your time on it. So you can see in physics and measurement, so many unnecessary things have been deleted like accuracy, precision, scope, excitement, nature of physical loss and the instruments. In new syllabus, least count, you can say it is added, but anyways, it was there. If you look at a kinematics, some basic concepts of de derivatives and integration has been removed. Position and displacement vectors removed. General vectors, general vectors, notation, equality, multiplication by real number removed. So basic things have been removed, but still application part you should study. Then you can see relation of uniformly accelerated motions. So that has been, you know, additionally mentioned in the new syllabus. If you look at laws of motion, lubrication, hardly anything. So that has been removed. Its application of centripetal force has been explicitly mentioned. You cannot call that it was added because anyways, centripetal force and application is taught in, you know, all the coachings or, you know, on YouTube. Work power energy, the notion of potential energy, the theoretical aspect of idea of potential energy removed, but that has been added in a different way with kinetic energy and potential energy and mechanical energy. You can see conservative forces is also there. So you will have to study the difference between conservative and non-conservative forces. Momentum conservation, center of mass motion, center of mass of uniform rod has been removed from motion of rigid body and motion of particles. Then you can see that no new topic has been added in this particular chapter. If you look at gravitation, geostationary satellites has been removed. Time period and energy of satellites and motion of a satellite has been explicitly mentioned. So you need to study that. If you look at properties of solids, Poisson's ratio, shear, Reynolds number, thermal expansion, uh, anomalous expansion, block, black body, Wien's displacement, greenhouse effect, Newton's law, Stephen's law, removed. So hardly anything is there in this chapter, mainly it's conduction. Then you can see uh, what has been added is the pressure due to fluid column, Pascal's law effect of gravity on the pressure that has been mentioned clearly that will be there. Then if you look at thermodynamics, heat engines, refrigerators has been removed. Okay. And no new topic has been added as such. 
Then if you look at KTG over here, RMS speed has been removed. Avogadro, sorry, RMS speed has been added and Avogadro number also is explicitly mentioned. Anyways, we do study that as it is. Uh, if you look at oscillations and waves, free force damped oscillations resonance has been removed. Doppler effect has also been removed. Beats is still there. Uh, nothing new has been added as such over here in oscillations and waves. So that was class 11. Let's go to class 12. Uh, in electrostatics, free charges, bound charges inside a conductor removed. Van de Graaff generator removed. Nothing new has been added in electrostatics. Electrical current, carbon resistors, color coding removed. Potentiometer and the, all experiments related to it has been removed. Then nothing new has been added as such in current electricity. In magnetism, Concept of the field and Orsted experiment with cyclotron removed. Magnetic dipole moment of a revolving electron removed. Earth's magnetic field and elements removed. Factors affecting the strength of the magnetic fields, permanent magnets removed. Then what has been added is the effect of temperature on magnetic properties in this chapter. Then uh, you can see LC oscillations has been removed from EMI and AC. But no new topic has such has been added. In EM waves, there is no change as to what has been removed, but applications of EM waves, it's mentioned in uh, NCRT, please read through that. In optics, many things have been removed like combination of lens with mirrors, dispersion, scattering of light, uh, blue color of the sky and correction of the eye, human eye defects, uh, reflection or refraction of waves using wavefronts, that's Huygens principle. Uh, resolving power of microscope and telescope again has been removed. In the new syllabus, nothing has been added. Then, if you look at from the old syllabus, davison germer experiment has been removed from dual nature and radiation. New syllabus, dual nature and radiation has been added. Okay. Then, if you look at it that way, actually, this is not nothing new because de Broglie wavelength was anyways there and that is actually in a way dual nature of a radiation. So, don't think this is something new like I said before. It's just that they have mentioned it differently. Okay. Then atoms and nuclei, you can see isotopes, isobars, isotones removed, radioactivity part and the decay laws completely removed, nothing new has been added. In electronic devices, energy bands removed, conductors of insulators, all these things removed, junction transistors and the application of transistors, transistor as switch, everything removed, logic gates is still there, no new topic has been additionally added. Then experimental skills, that is something new. So these are part of all the other chapters like you can see speed of sound in air at room temperature using resonance tube. This is a part of sound. So that is usually taught along with the chapter itself. It's not a new chapter. Think of it which is taught additionally at the end of every chapter. Like vernier caliper screw gauge is generally taught you know at the beginning uh, with units dimensions and error. Young's modulus is taught with solid mechanics right. Coefficient of viscosity terminal velocity is taught with the viscosity chapter. So all these things are uh, mentioned explicitly here. So expect few questions from this particular part. Do not consider it as a new chapter, but it's a part of the previous chapters. So I hope this is very clear. You can take a screenshot of all the parts wherever you feel like. And yes, if you want the PDF, I will definitely share it on our telegram channel. So make sure you join the telegram channel, which is there. The link is there in the description box. Okay. So make sure you share this video with as many people as possible. And if somebody is trying to teach you something which is not there, please show them this video. Okay. Because this is what uh, is very, very important and you don't waste your time on the deleted part. Okay. So focus on the syllabus, which is actually there. This is your captain Shreyas signing off. Astala Vista.